हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू कोडिंग सिंप्लीफाइड एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सम न्यू फंक्शन इन सिलेनियम ओके सो बेसिकली टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग थ्री थिंग्स एंड दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मेथड्स वेन एवर वी आर वर्किंग विद द ऑटोमेशन यूजिंग सिलेनियम ओके सो फर्स्ट वन इज इज डिस्प्लेड सो इफ यू नीड टू वेरीफाई दैट इफ अ पर्टिकुलर एलिमेंट इज डिस्प्लेड ऑन द वेब पेज और नॉट देन यू कैन यूज दिस पर्टिकुलर मैथड एंड देन इज अनेबल्ड सो समाइम is sometimes it happens like uh, if you see on this instagram sign up page then this sign up is disabled okay so we need to verify that in some particular condition some button or some element is disabled or enabled so we can use the is enabled for that and then the third is is selected so like if i talk about some checkbox or something then you can verify then uh like if um, you see on this particular screen then there is one checkbox uh we can verify that this particular checkbox is selected or not uh, by using the is selected okay now let us understand it more by writing some uh test script okay so first of all uh i am on this particular project i am creating one class verify elements uh on web page so this is our class and we will be verifying some elements on the web page so i am creating the main method in here and then i need to add the uh, chrome driver and need to create the web driver let me copy it till now so that uh, it will be so this time uh, i have defined this particular property uh, the chrome driver uh, executable file uh, location Uh, for this particular key and then i have created a reference of this web driver using the chrome driver class and then i need to open one url so for now we will be using uh, instagram instagram sign up uh, page okay so this is the instagram sign up page i'll be using and we will be seeing how we can verify multiple things on it okay so after that i have just put this driver dot manage dot window dot maximize to maximize the window okay then uh first thing let's say we need to verify that if i open this particular url then if i successfully uh came into this screen or not okay so for that we can verify like uh, if some element is displayed or not so for now uh i am on this developers tool let me do one thing uh we can verify this particular uh, login with facebook button Uh, and we can say if this is displayed then we are present on the sign up page okay so for that let me create xpath so no id is present in here so i can just do uh then text we can do the text equals to so this is our xpath for this uh login with facebook so same thing we can do uh, let me copy it and then uh we can do driver dot find element first we need to find this particular element on the web page and by xpath okay and our xpath is this like the text is login with facebook and then we need to verify that this particular element is displayed or not so if you write is then there are three methods i was talking about is displayed is enabled and is selected so first we need to verify that is this particular button is displayed or not so we can do is displayed and if you look at is displayed method then it returns boolean okay so the same thing we can do like uh, we can uh, just uh, store this particular uh, whatever it will return like true or false we can get it into a variable so let me create a variable for now and is displayed okay so let me create a variable and let's name it is element displayed okay and then we can do this and then we can perform one assertion uh, that assertions dot assert true okay we need to make it assert true and our condition is is element displayed so whenever this particular condition is true this test will pass otherwise it will fail okay and we can write the message that uh, the element is not displayed okay simply we can do this so we can write the element is not displayed on sign up page okay so this is our first test like uh, we are verifying that the particular element is displayed or not okay so uh we can write a comment in here verifying if element is displayed okay so this is our first method we have used in here and then there is uh one more method next method is uh we can use is enabled so if you see on this uh, instagram sign up page uh, this particular sign up button is disabled for now because we haven't entered any detail uh in uh here okay so whenever we will enter the details the mobile number full name username and the password it will uh, make it enable so let's see let me give it a mobile number let me give some number 
some random number okay and then let me provide the full name for now test1 and then we can provide the username test2 okay and then we can provide the password so if you see like as i have provided all the details then this particular sign up button got enabled okay so first we can verify that if uh, like any of the details is missing then this particular sign up is disabled so for that we can do a simple test let me uh, create a xpath for this so there is no id so we can go with the text only sign up text okay and in here i have put it and it is saying that it's a uh, single xpath we are having okay so then we can do a simple test that driver dot find element then by and we can give the xpath okay and in the xpath we can provide this particular xpath okay and then we can see that is enabled okay so first of all it should be disabled uh, we haven't provide any uh, details in it so let me create uh, get it into one variable and let's name it uh, is element enable okay and then it will return like it should return false in this case so we can do assertions uh, dot assert false we can do and then we can provide the condition the element not be enabled we can give a simple message for now okay so i am providing this simple message in here and we are checking whether the element is uh, enable or disable okay so this is our first test we are doing um, like uh, we are verifying that if particular element is uh, displayed or not and then secondly we are checking that is element displayed and in the same way if you provide all the details in here uh, it, it should be enabled in this case okay so let me do that also so if we see then uh, there is this mobile number or email so we can create uh, with the name X we can create a xpath with the name so first xpath is at the rate name equals to and our name is this okay so this is our first xpath so we can provide the details in here so for now let me do uh, driver dot find element and by path and we can provide the xpath in here and then after that we can send some keys in order to uh, provide some data so let me give the mobile number this for now and then in the same way we can do for all four fields okay and four fields are let me take all the xpath so this is also common i can provide the full name in it and then for the username we can get it by username because the name we are taking the name property okay to create the xpath and it is unique also so it is helpful now and then at last we can provide some password and password is also having the name password and it's also unique so we can give the password in here and for now let me give password one exclamation so it will and then username let's say test user okay and then uh, this is test one okay we are simply providing in here and then our this particular case uh, should be uh, is element uh, disabled we can say in here uh, disabled and in this case we can say is element enable okay and then the same uh, test we can do like uh, we can assert whether this particular element is uh, enabled or not so after we have entered all the details in all the fields then it should be enabled this particular sign up should be enabled so we are doing the same uh, we can do assertions dot assert true and in the true we can provide is element uh, enable okay and we can provide the element is disabled so this is the uh, this is uh, basically we are doing the assertion that if this particular uh, boolean element this uh, is element enabled variable is true then this test will pass otherwise it will throw the message with the error that the element is disabled okay so this is our basic test and then uh, there is one more um, method which left is selected so for now uh, like we will be running this particular script and we will be seeing only two methods uh, first one is uh, verifying element is disabled and verifying verifying element is enabled okay so these two things we are doing and third for third we will be using some 
uh, other website uh, the, we will be do, uh, doing some work with this remember me so for now let me run this particular test script okay and then we will see how these things are working okay so for now let me debug it okay and then we can debug it from here so our chrome browser got started okay and then we should be navigating to the instagram sign up page so here is the page and uh, our window is also maximized okay and we have come to this debugger point okay so we are on this instagram page and uh, we are on this uh, debugger point let me debug it and further and then we will see so our first test is like uh, this particular uh, button should be visible login with facebook okay so we are doing is element displayed and if we see then is element displayed is coming as true so this assertion should be passed okay so this got passed and then second thing we are doing is verifying element is enabled so we are checking the uh, if this sign up is enabled or not so in the first test we are doing that this particular uh, button should not be enabled because we have not entered any details in here so let me do it so if you see is animal disable is coming as false uh, is element uh, disable with this particular uh, uh, variable is coming as false so it should assert false and it should be okay so it has ran successfully now we are entering all the details uh, in these particular fields and we will be seeing that if this particular sign up button is enabled after providing all the details or not so first of all let us uh, do the send key so he, it has entered the mobile number then it has entered the full name then username also got entered and then password also got entered in here and if you see the sign up button got enabled okay so uh, we can verify that is this particular element enabled so is element enabled is coming as true uh, because like this particular element is enabled so what uh, this assertion should be passed in that case and if we run it then yeah it got passed okay and uh, at last like uh, i haven't provided the close statement in here so we can simply write that uh, driver dot close or quit whatever is needed okay so this is uh, about these two methods first one is like uh, is displayed and then second one is is enabled so basically these are the very important functions uh, because whenever we are writing the test script using selenium then we need to verify all the things like if we move to the particular page or not if the button is available or not if the element is displayed or not so that way we can uh, in the same way uh, in the real time scenarios also we can do it okay and now we will be seeing uh, our next uh, function is selected so for that let me create one more uh, class and let me name it uh, test is selected because it needs a different uh, website so I'm doing in a different class so we can copy paste the system dot property uh, to maximize okay so okay then let me close it and let me close it okay so we are on it and uh, like i have uh, again set the property uh, of the chrome driver and then secondly we need to enter this particular url uh, onto our browser whichever will be open by the selenium okay so this is our url so we will be checking that uh, if we i refresh it then let's see if this remember me is uh, disabled or uh, is selected or not selected so if you see by default it's selected okay so our test is let's say uh, we need to verify one thing that uh, whenever we land on this particular page this remember me should be enabled by default and if i click on this particular button then it should be disabled okay so for that what i need is i need to get the xpath for this particular checkbox and if you see then the name is remember me so i think it will work uh, let me do uh, input because it's an input and then we can do name equals to remember me so there are two things it is providing okay name and remember me so we can also do I think type checkbox also in here uh, to make it more clear okay 
so I can do type equals to checkbox also and uh, the rate type equals to checkbox okay so if you see like uh, we have uh, got our uh, relative x path in this case uh, like uh, we have provided the end operator in here so if you see the tutorial of our x path locator then you will get to know how we can use the end and or so i have provided like uh, previously i am having these uh, two things with the name remember me and one is hidden okay so i have provided end and then this particular its type is checkbox okay so we can do it this way now whenever we land to this page then we need to verify that this particular element should be selected so for that let me write the case uh, driver dot find element and it should be by x path and in the x path we can provide this particular x path of this particular checkbox okay and then we can do is enabled okay is selected okay so for now we need to verify that this particular element is selected or not so we can do simply in here and it also returns boolean so if you see okay now uh, we can do one thing that we can get it into a boolean variable okay and then is element selected okay so that way we can uh, provide the name and we can provide the comment also okay now uh, we can in the same way we can do the assertions uh, we have done in our previous script of is enabled and is displayed so we can do assert true and we can provide is enabled selected so it should be true by default and if it is not then we can provide that the element is not selected by default okay so like you can whenever you are working on some real time application then uh, you can just provide some meaningful statement in here i am just giving some test uh, uh, message in here so yeah okay it should be by now uh, one thing we can do like uh, we can click on this particular button and then make sure that this should be uh, this should not be selected after uh, this checkbook should not be selected after we have unselected okay so we can do like this uh, driver uh, dot find element we can simply copy this statement from here okay and then we can simply click on the particular button okay so then we can click okay we need to get the element and then click on this particular element and after we have unchecked this particular checkbox or we can we have clicked on this particular checkbox this should be uh, this should not be selected this should be deselected okay so for that we can do uh, same thing boolean is element is element uh, selected okay and it's okay so we can do so for that uh, like uh, after we have click on this particular element or uncheck uh, this particular checkbox then it should not be selected so for that in the same way we can do it uh, driver dot find element and we can provide this particular x path in here okay and we have provided the x path then we can do is uh, selected and then we can also take it into a variable and then verify that it should not be selected in this case uh, this should return false okay now we can do disable this uh, is element not selected we can write some meaningful variable name in here and then in the same way we can do assertions dot assert so it will return false so we can do assert false in this case and we can provide the is element not selected and then we can give the element is selected uh, okay the element is selected uh, then we can write like it should not be okay it should not be now let us run this particular test script and we will see how the things are working uh, like uh, in in this particular way you can verify whether the checkbox is selected or not selected so these are the very basic ui operations uh, we need to perform okay so i am giving the example in the same way we uh, do on the real time application whenever we are working on some project in some organization so it has opened this particular chrome browser in here then we should be on the web page whatever url we have provided so we have got to this login classy.org and then it should maximize the window 
so now the window is maximized and let's see what is happening on the ui okay so we have came to this particular debugger point and then if we like in this case uh, it should return true because it is selected i uh, select should return true so if we see then is element selected is true uh, in this uh, case okay so then we can uh, assert this particular statement and if we assert it so assertions got passed so we have uh, got into this particular uh, statement and then it should be clicking on the remember me so if you see the remember me checkbox is clicked and it is unselected right now then we can get uh, again so if uh, is element not selected it is coming false this particular variable okay and then if we do the assertion it should pass okay and uh, yeah so uh, in this particular way we can uh, do these following things uh, like uh, we have performed three operations uh, first one is is displayed uh, we have verified on the instagram page whether the facebook button is displayed or not and then we have verified the is enabled uh, by checking the sign up button on the instagram page and then we have also verified if the element is selected or not so uh, these are the basic operations we have performed so yeah uh, that's it for this particular tutorial and if you guys are having any questions related to these three functions then you can mention it in our comment section and yeah uh, in the next tutorials we will be discussing uh, some more functions okay so for now thank you